So, funny story. I think I'm gonna move the <laughs> spray booth again. Okay, well, I built the Alex, you can't see it. Hello? I put it. Oh, you got what? Um, I'm probably going to move the spray booth over in that corner after I paint that. I'm gonna get some bins that match. And also, I changed my mind on that turquoise paint. I'm gonna use it up on the shelves and see if I can find either that. I don't know if it's turquoise or mint. Is mint the trendy word for this? It's technically a tint. But we're gonna say this Serenity Blue is gonna go up there. I'm gonna see if I can find some matching bands, either a similar or same color or white. That would be also acceptable for up there. So we'll see. And then I'm gonna move, I think uh, my measurements are correct in that I could put my Alex drawers for all my paper and some of my supplies in that corner. Put the spray booth on there so that way I can get two sets of shelves in there which would be really important for all my greenware. And then according to my measurements I can have two covers down here and I'm gonna have all the things that were up there that are heavy such as all my glazing beams. I didn't even realize I have all my stains and like other heavy glaze stuff that I use more often and like paint and like airbrush stuff and other art supplies. All that heavy stuff is way, way up there. And you can see that it's taller than the ladder. So that's dangerous to be climbing up to get. That should be lower in the cupboards. And like, I don't make glazes too often because I primarily paint with acrylics. So like my sculptures even. So the glaze mediums really should be up there. And then I can put most into cute little bins or just on the shelf. But that would be a much better solution for that. So I got to redo some stuff here. But right now we're going to paint it and then I'm going to head on over to Walmart for the paint color. It's definitely not the same as the outside. Just saying. Anyway, I don't even know if I have a paintbrush. Now, I'm going to be um, cheating a little because... I'm never going to see the top of the shelves, so therefore, I do not need to paint them. I only need to paint what I can see. So, cheating is about to happen. Oh, this ladder has a perfect little spot for this. Oh, I didn't know that's what those were for. Here we go.
painting. The but I think since that's done, we're gonna let that dry, my friends, and we're gonna head on over to Walmart. Pro tip: always cover your cans before you uh, hit them with a hammer, so that way it doesn't go. Also, it looks so much better, don't you think? It's like less in your face, but it looks so much better already. Just like, call me. All the shelves in here now are either white or that. Oh, except for I did forget again to paint the corners on there. Oh well, that's gonna have to happen later. As in, not today. Not today, not today. Maybe I'll do that when I get home. I need to make sure I don't get the base size again. I wish I left, oh, is there labels on it? 40 liters! I need 40 liter bins. 40, three, one, three for each shelf, 40 liter bins, preferably not that hideous metallic gray color. That is perfect for transporting art to galleries, but not for my studio! Okay. I forget what I'm doing again. Oh yeah, we're going. Let's go to Walmart. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Okay, I swear I saw the, um, well, I saw a pink color, but these ones are only the same ugly colors, and I don't want ugly Rubbermaids. So, we're gonna keep looking. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna get just four of these ones because they're small enough to be safe to lift up and down. <sighs> I'm not super happy, but whatever. Okay, so we're going to have to do some spray painting of those lids. I think that is going to be the ultimate solution is just to spray paint the lids um, both sides because otherwise when you look up on the shelves because that's where you're going to be looking at all the stuff, you're always going to be looking up. So I'm going to have to spray paint the underside also because I'll see the underside more than I'll see the actual top. Mostly I'm going to see the sides and the um, underside. So I got some flat white um, spray paint. We're going to spray paint those lids. I was going to do the handles too, but I think that won't bother me as much. But the lids will bother me that I just don't like... I don't like the look of mint and beige together. Mm-mm. I gotta get home now. Oh, I got my paint clothes on and we're going to go outside and we're gonna paint these lids um, before it rains again. And 
think I'm going to paint those baskets. I have this that I bought a couple years ago. So I don't really like pink, but I already have it. So we're going to go for it. And this is why I'm painting these lids white because this is just not something that I like. Mm -hmm. So, oh, and I'm going to also paint, I have this little um, shelving unit that my great-grandfather built. So, I'm just going to sand it, give it a light sand, um, and then I'm going to, while I have this paintbrush still ready to go, and the paint already out, I'm going to paint that. I don't really want to do it today, but... I mean, the paintbrush is already ready to go. So might as well use it before and then put everything away in one go, despite my desire to go and sit down. Okay, so uh, before we finish this episode, we're gonna go outside, spray paint lids. I'm gonna show you what that's like. So you can be like, not afraid to do this if you feel like you need to spice up your life. We're gonna spice this up. Throw the glaze materials up there in addition to the four containers. Um, they're a little bit smaller, so they'll fit on these smaller shelves. These are a little bit narrower than my big shelves on the wall. So they'll fit up here and then also put all the glaze material up there that I don't use as often. And that way it'll be good. And that means a lot of this stuff will be off the floor and up there. I'm also going to shove the paper into my... Um, Alex drawer unit and also I think I'm going to move that spray booth into this corner and that way we're ready to go when we go to the um I really hate those TikTok notifications to be honest. I don't care that somebody's going live. I'm not watching it. Anyways, um I want to be ready to go for next week when I get the two cabinets two cabinets and the table's done. I might also get the two shelves. We're gonna see, I probably will. I don't like to do, I like to get everything done in one go. Just wanna get her done. Get her done because I need to start working in here on my actual personal art. And I got a lot in store for Ms. Artastic. Got some art art sub tubs in my brain. I'm processing that. Some super bundles for the membership. So let's get at her.
a couple things are done and dry and I'll show the containers last up on the shelf. First, these turned out super cute. So I'm pretty happy with how they look. Brings a little bit of color into here without being too much color. Cause my art is pretty pop. So even though I have it a lot of weight in here, it's very intense in color. Um, so these are, I can use in two ways. Uh, first, um, you can take your plants and keep them in the pots you purchased them in. They go right in the container. That looks super cute, right? So if you're decorating your home or classroom, that's a good way to just spice up your life. But also you, the benefit of this is that you're making it custom color. So if you have a classroom theme or you are looking to have that art teacher rainbow classroom, um, Obviously pick the colors that you want. You could do a pastel rainbow classroom. I don't see a lot of people doing that. Everybody's going for the bright rainbow. Um, but you could do a pastel rainbow. Right, it looks cute. Uh, another thing you could do is, if you find little containers, you might even find things like this at the thrift store. Uh, I just don't go outside of my house too much. But you can also take like your um, materials or your paints or whatever and then you go get a container that's obviously bigger for this, but then you can use that to make it like a cute um, paintbrush holder or whatever, right? So that looks super cute. You can do that also. So if you don't want to do plants, then maybe another option is using it for that. Okay, this is the circle one. It turned out pretty good. I'm happy with it. Maybe we'll put this guy in there for now. I don't like this plant right now. He's kind of, I had him on a shelf and it was pretty squished up there. So now this plant's not doing so hot. But anyways, I might have to get a new plant baby for this one. Cause it's looking pretty sad. Hmm, oh well. I'm gonna put it here in the light, see what happens for now. I'll just do that. Just for now, until I get organized. I really kind of want to use those containers for like materials on my desk, but that looks pretty cute too. And I don't intend on keeping it on the spray booth. By the way, the spray booth is over there on the Alex. Oh my gosh, guys. See, check it out. All right, so the spray booth is on top of the drawers. Obviously there is a problem with this and that is is if I'm airbrush painting which is why I have a spray booth this beautiful white drawer that I just assembled is not gonna look beautiful and white due to overspray now the reason why it's a spray booth is because it's gonna suck out all the fumes out and then I put this out the window just the exhaust but there's a filter in there to catch all the um, overspray. So it's not so bad. It doesn't have a lot of overspray coming out. But if I miss just that one time, game over. So that's something. I'm going to deal with that another time. That's something I'm going to have to figure out. So I don't know if I'm going to get like. that I can just unfold, stick underneath, and drape over that while I, when I'm in paint mode. It's not going to be all the time, right? Just when I go through batches of painting. All right, other thing that I finished and brought in is that drawer set. You can see it looks very nice, and now it matches up there. No idea where I'm going to put this, but it just has some clay stuff. So it's probably going to go, I think, underneath my clay table or beside it. I should have enough room, honestly, to be beside it. No, I have my clay cart. I have no idea. No idea. But that looks cute. So, remember, if you have things lying around or if you are on a low budget for your art classroom, your general classroom, or even for your home studio or your house, either don't, like, feel free to just, like, refinish things to being the color that you want it to be, right? If you can find the paint, to make that happen, 
refinish it yourself. You don't have to go searching endlessly or pay more to um, find the color that you want, right? Obviously, you're going to have to take into account that the paint's going to cost money, right? But if you can find something at the thrift store, obviously, like this cabinet that was my great-grandfather's has been redone many times over decades. Um, the last person who refinished it has had oil varnish drips, like thick drips all over the top. So that's really why I just refinished it and sanded it right down. So sanded it, put some chalk paint on, super easy. If I want to refinish it again in the future, I can just strip it completely and take everything off the wood and then refinish it from there. I'm not worried about that. That would be easy to completely redo if I had to. Okay, so that's that. The shelves are all done. I'm gonna go ahead and grab those lids, bring them in, show you that. Um, remember, if you need custom for your classroom or your home or your studio, do it yourself. It's not too hard. I mean, like you watched me do that um, drawer set. It didn't take very well long, right? I just sanded it, painted right over, spray bomb, and then I think the most awkward thing was to do was spraying plastic lids. Normally, you would assume that most places have white plastic lids. Alright, so you're obviously probably not going to paint plastic white. It's a little bit extreme, honestly. I realize that, and if I had gone to the next store, I probably could have found white anyways. But I really like the size, and they're pretty sturdy. So I'm just picking them up there for now. They're not full, but... Um, I'll reorganize when I get there. So why, why would you paint this white? Well, you probably wouldn't, but if you have your classroom, you want everything matching, maybe you want to paint your containers the color to match your classroom. So it's all about getting it the colors you want. So we're gonna stick it up here, see what it looks like now. Just for now anyway, nice and temporary. so that I'll be able to see what's up there without having to dig through things. It looks much better. Um, well, my friends, that's it for this episode. I hope you head on out there, go to thrift stores, um, use things you already have at home, get a little paint. Maybe you already have some paint just laying around from projects that you thought you were going to do but never did like me. Apply it to some of the stuff that you have that's not matching and suddenly it's gonna match. Now I have shelves that match my drawers, white that matches everything else, and, and I haven't really bought in that much. All I've bought was the two tabletops and the some stuff from Ikea, right? And the drawers so far. And all I'm gonna be buying more next is really just those two cabinets and some dreamware shelves. That's it. And then we'll get to the cute little decor later, but for for the big bulk of it, I'm not going to be spending too much. We're just going to refurbish what we have, paint some things, and just make it look cohesive and nice, right? So you can apply that to your classroom too. Um, if you're low on budget, but you want things to match, don't like 
feel free to just grab some spray paint and spray a bunch of things the same color it's going to match, right? If you want to do rainbow in your classroom, go do rainbow. Start with spray painting it. If you can't find the colors that you want, right? Or maybe try doing a different version of color schemes, right? You could do like a complementary color classroom. I haven't seen that. You could do a pastel rainbow, so like all the tints um, of colors. You could do a neutral classroom, a neutral color scheme, including beige and brown. So all those kinds of things are something that you could do. And you can make it happen. Again, go to thrift stores, repaint it and refinish it, sand it down. If it's wood, just apply some paint. And uh, yeah, hey, subscribe to my channel. I know that you might not have done that yet. It really helps me out. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, like it, and share this video. And let's make some art. I know I moved this a hundred times, but it's so much better. All right, staying there, my friends, staying there. I'm Ms. Artastic, and that's the end of this episode. Make sure that you hit that subscribe button. And for more art lessons, 100 exclusive art lessons, make sure that you check out my course, 100 Cartoons for Kids. The link is in the description of this video, and it's 100 exclusive drawing tutorials, premium drawing tutorials for kids. You can use it as a course for at home if you're a kid. You can follow along with any medium or if you're a teacher, you can use it as your directed drawing program in your classroom for obviously an entire year because you have 100 drawing videos to choose from for your classroom. So make sure you hit that subscribe button, like this video and comment with ideas for things that you want me to draw in future drawing tutorials. I'm always open for ideas. So comment with things that you want me to draw and let's make some art.